Today we're gonna go over what I did when I worked at Small Rig as a global marketing specialist. If you have not seen the first one as to how I got this job, I'll drop a link down below for you. Fast forward from NAB, took two months roughly. Now I am, well not now now, but now in the story, I'm a global marketing specialist for Small Rig and I get told that they are gonna start a new Small Rig Instagram page. This kind of confused me because there was already four maybe at the time. So a little baffling that they would start another. Turned out there were some infrastructure issues. So we started a new Instagram page called Small Rig Official. The word you're looking for is anyway. <laughs> I had to go from zero to what it became when I left. Somewhere around 32 to 34,000. Now, in this, I also had to keep track of all the data. I had never really done that before from a business standpoint. You know, we all keep track of our, our crap because we're obsessed. This was something new, how to read the data and adapt based off of the previous week's worth of data. Everything that I was doing, I had to learn as I was doing. But with that, I became the face, not just creating the posts and curating the content, all the Instagram stories, small rig YouTube channel, as best that I could describe it, I was attempting to be the Ted of Aperture, but the Ian of small rig. Now with that responsibility, that also meant that I needed to be there at the shows and events and give a personality to the company. And then along comes another first. On behalf of a company, I now have to go find influencers, content creators, name, brands, people, everything in between, identify what they could use on their kit and send that to, you know, the marketing team in Shenzhen, China and let them know, hey, this person needs X, Y, Z. And if we had it available and if we had the resources, then we'd have it sent out. I was doing the best that I could to foster these relationships with these creators, high, low, and, and everything in between, as well as, as companies who knew creators to see how we could kind of bridge the gap. Another first, foster these relationships for the company, not myself, and find ways to make small rig prevalent in their content. And all of this, the stance, the viewpoint, the perspective was brand new to me. And did it scare me? Hell fucking yes. I saw it as another opportunity and learn as I go because I can look things up as I go. I can learn from, from sites, from business pages, from marketing professionals, from advertisers, from all of these people as I'm doing these steps. There's no reason I need to learn everything beforehand when I'm being given these responsibilities now. Don't be afraid to do everything as you go. It's That's not true. It's okay to be afraid. Don't let it cripple you. You need to move ahead and you need to be able to apply something that you, just, just a facet of what you know to what you are doing and then grow from there. There's no reason you need to take on everything at once. You go from what you know. And I hope that helps and I'll see you for the third installment next time.